asking Melissa to tune into a beautiful white light. I'm now tuning into the chakra at the third eye. To each of the seven main chakras, like a blue silk foil. So taking a deep breath at the heart, deeply strong. Instinct surrounding Melissa with white light of protection. Getting myself seated, ready to give a beautiful Reiki and a visualisation so you can follow along at home. Asking Melissa to tune into a beautiful white light. And I'm smiling because I can feel the white light in the presence of the room and particularly around the crown of Melissa's head. And then softly touching the crown chakra, the Sahasra. And the white light is there to facilitate a Reiki healing treatment. I'm enjoying bringing some Reiki symbols into the energy surrounding Melissa so that the symbols will facilitate a healing to Melissa's highest good. The sensation is immediately palpable, tangible in the room. Melissa has instantly felt this energy and managed to relax deeply into the couch. The weight of our body when we are experiencing Reiki can feel very heavy. It can feel weightless at the same time where our bodies feel relaxed deep into the couch and yet at the same time we can feel light and airy like we are lifted a foot or so above the couch floating in a dreamlike state So having tuned into the Reiki white light, having brought the symbols into the start of the treatment, I am now tuning into the chakra at the third eye. 
this is the Ajna Chakra, which helps us relate to spirituality, mentality, our intellect, and above all, our knowledge. That state of being where we have a wonderful sense of knowing. We have a deep connection with ourself and our place in this world. third eye is a way of seeing that which commonly cannot be seen. It's a way of having an extra sense where we have a feeling about many things in life and by tuning into our third eye it connects us with the key to opening this vision. I'm now placing some chosen crystals on key places along Melissa's body. The crystals relate to each of the seven main chakras along the torso. While choosing and then placing these crystals, I feel a great responsibility and privilege to be such a facilitator for this deep and profound energy work. I'm feeling here quite a depth of energy around the head and face. I have a sense that I will revisit that area later in the treatment, but for now I'm continuing with Reiki now to the throat chakra called the Vishuddhi chakra. Imagine a blue scarf 
gently touching the throat and neck. Imagine this scarf is not heavy, but light and transparent. Like a blue silk foil. And then sensing there is a little congestion within the throat and neck. I employ some techniques to clear a stickiness and thickness within the area. Using Reiki symbols and psychic surgery, it instantly starts to clear. And the blockage and waste material is placed down into the earth and sealed so that it can be recycled and used at another time when it comes back as a good material. My fingers are palping the air in order to clear a solidity that is surrounding now the energy around Melissa instead of the blockage within the throat. And this Solidity in the air and the aura around the throat and neck can easily be cleared using these Reiki beautiful techniques. Now moving further along the body, this time to the heart chakra. A beautiful green energy, a large chakra called the Anahata, which shares love, passion and healing. So taking a deep breath at the heart, feeling green energy envelop and infuse through you. a deep breath at the solar plexus in the upper abdomen, feeling golden light envelop and infuse through you.
experiencing the tingling sensation of energy around this part of the ribs and torso. The Svadhasthana Chakra, the orange light at the lower abdomen, which sends a beautiful whirling vortex of energy from the area below the belly button out and around the pelvis connecting with that part of us which wants to be creative adventurous it wants to make friends and it wants to make friends with our inner child fun laughter spontaneity are all part of this chakra at the hips being aware of that orange glow picture a basket of shiny oranges and bring that colour into and around your pelvis. If you frequently tune into this sensation, you will open and relieve and bring harmony to all of the organs contained in the pelvis digestively hormones and reproduction urinary and excretory all of the organs will be helped with this orange meditation And taking a deep breath at the hips, feeling beautiful energy of a red colour descend down and surround the pelvis. Feeling reassurance and nurturing like a red warm scarf, hugging and surrounding the hips. This reassuring, strong powerful chakra of the red energy infuses and strengthens through the whole body. It is nice to connect with our red base chakra called the Muladhara chakra and as I'm doing here 
I'm picturing this strength, the powerhouse of the body coming down through the limbs, arms, legs, hands and feet, indeed the whole body. Feel the resonance of the Muladhara Chakra with its deeply strong instinct to not only survive but also be the strongest that we can be. The connection between therapist and client during a treatment of this sort is incredibly deep and profound. It is only by experiencing a treatment of this nature that one can associate with the deep feelings felt during a Reiki treatment. There are also sensations in other parts of the body when one part is being treated. Often, those being treated experience a sensation of touch at another area, feeling like there may be more than one therapist in the room. I am often mindful of Reiki angels and Reiki guides that associate with the client I am working with and are present in the room, helping me and guiding me to the best possible outcome for their person. There may be also sensations of hot or cold, warm or cool, not just on the surface of the skin, but frequently within the body. And during a Reiki treatment, we are very aware of our bodies. We are aware of temperature. We are aware of touch. We are aware of presence. The wonderful feeling that we are all the culmination of hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of years of ancestry. We are only here because of the survival and the strength of our ancestors. They found a way, they managed, they had families and as a result we are all living 
and breathing offspring from these beautiful historical ancestors. I'm now returning to the higher chakras of the crown and third eye. The beautiful crystals are helping me tune into and work out exactly what each chakra is needing. The placement of my hands is key to feeling the energy requirements and feeding the energy in order to balance and harmonize the whole workings of the body, the homeostasis and particularly our aura. The auras created by the chakras. There is the most beautiful amethyst touching the third eye at Melissa's forehead. which is resonating a deep energy directly through the crown, directly through the forehead, all the way deep inside to a deep area called the Jyoti Kendra. This helps us reach a somatic state a state of deep relaxation akin to meditation. Melissa has reached a deep state, almost asleep, yet conscious and aware of the beautiful healing Reiki vibrations, the throat at the Vishuddhi Chakra has required a little more psychic surgery, a little more Reiki symbols and as I descend Gently, with compassion and respect, down through each chakra once more. I'm tuning into the energy of each one, making sure it is balanced and ready to be softly closed. Coming back to the sacral chakra with the orange light. Moving the energy so that it is not stagnant, but resonates and has a softness to it. And as I give Reiki symbols to each chakra, it fills me with joy and love. Often, the energies come through me as well and I cannot help but smile. 
I feel an overwhelming health and balance and I am deeply appreciative and respectful of this shared energy. And now revisiting a couple of chakras that need a little extra assistance. And as I softly close each chakra, I leave each door slightly ajar so that each chakra is not closed to sensing what is going on around it, but that it is open, responsive, and able to detect others' feelings without being hurt. That is the reason for just gently closing each chakra's door without closing it firmly, but just leaving the door slightly ajar. And now surrounding Melissa with white light of protection, creating a beautiful bubble of energy. Thanking the Reiki guides and angels, thanking Melissa's presence and bringing myself back into the room. closed and take a nice long breath. And send your breath all around your body, down to your fingers and toes. Feeling the breath Balance out your energies, sending a little movement to the fingers and the toes, and then turning into wrists and ankles. And if you feel you want to, bringing your arms up over your head for a whole body stretch. Breathing deeply. Just going to remove the crystals. And opening your eyes when you're ready. You feel okay? Felt oh, lovely. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Very at peace. Yeah, you look it. <laughs> I enjoyed giving you some Reiki. And I just noticed a little bit at the throat area, which is very common okay. to have a little bit of congestion there maybe, which can relate physically, as in there can be congestion at the throat, like a cough or oh, a sore okay. throat, or it can be psychologically, spiritually, for instance, um, like something stopping you talking or a blockage to expression. Okay. Okay. So we express ourselves by singing or writing or how we dress, what we say. 
So there's lots of different ways of expression, but these are all beautiful ways to facilitate and open the throat. And the throat is related to the experience of freedom. So when our throat is open, we feel free. So it's a nice feeling. So I just cleared it a little with some psychic surgery. Okay. And I've recycled it so it can be used again for good. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and so that will help clear any stickiness and blockage there. Thank you. All right. So you're okay to move when you're ready. Thank you. My pleasure. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Really enjoyed treating you again and uh, maybe see you again. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>